I'm gonna to try to get you up to speed on Bitcoin mining in the next 10 minutes. I'm Boss here on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. This is the Boss Coin Mining Farm. I'm not gonna waste time pitching Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining to you. I'm gonna assume that you're already in or at least interested and you wanna see, well, how, how do I do it? How, how can I kind of get started on that? How can I get up to speed? Walk with me around the Voscoin mining farm and let's dig into this. And yes, it's a pun, that's why I said it. To put it shortly, I think Bitcoin mining is the best way to earn passive income. The end, period, done, finite, okay? Uh, so how do we do it, right? All right, well, enter the lowest barrier to entry here. We can grab a Bitax Gamma from Power Mining for a little bit over 100 bucks. We can get an easy to use, quiet Bitcoin miner that works on Wi-Fi delivered to us. You can even set it up with your phone. You don't even need a computer or anything. You can very easily get a Bitcoin address from an exchange. Not recommended, right? You could also just download a free hot wallet or a software wallet like Exodus. I've been using that for several years on my phone. Then you of course can do cold storage like a Trezor, but uh, we're getting into the weeds, right? The point is you need somewhere to send your Bitcoin to. And when you use a little miner like the uh, Bitax Gamma, you're really just gonna be solo mining, right? You're gonna, it's, it's essentially a Bitcoin lottery ticket. It. You're taking your percent chance and you can calculate that in real time using sololuck.com for any mining rig. You just input the whatever the hash rate is and uh, you'll see what your odds are to hit a Bitcoin block. For example, if I flipped over my whole Bitcoin mining farm, I would have a one in two chance to hit a Bitcoin block over the next year. And yeah, I'm thinking about flipping it over because lately I've been pool mining and we'll talk about pool mining, but let's kind of talk a little bit more about a couple minor models that would fit the bill. So you want to turn some dirty dollars and maybe other fiat currencies into cryptocurrencies or better yet, Bitcoin, then check out today's video sponsor, Kraken, where I've been trading Bitcoin and other cryptos for many years. I have turned my USD into those coins and of course, their exchange functions as a wallet, but you can withdraw cryptocurrencies into cold storage or other hot wallets if you'd like to do so. And did you know that Kraken not only has a heavy focus on security, but they also publish their proof of reserves. Click our link in the video description below to ensure that Kraken will supply services to your location. And as always, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. The best Bitcoin miner you can buy right now to run in your home to easily mine over Wi-Fi. It's quiet and you can plug it into probably any outlet in your house is the canon avalon q the q stands for quiet and it really is this is a current generation bitcoin miner it hits at 90 terahash a second which is last generation bitcoin mining hash rate in one miner package and that's not an insult that's impressive right it only uses between 1600 to 1800 watts of electricity it's a great way to either tackle solo mining with some serious hash rate look at these odds on screen if you were to do that Comparatively, you can of course pool mine and you'll be mining several dollars per day in Bitcoin and you need to calculate whatever your electricity bill to see, you know, how much is this really going to cost you. It's also not a huge electrical footprint, right? So if you really want to get crazy, throw up a couple solar panels and start generating the electricity to run that thing. But the point is, Gamma, if you want the cheapest one to just try this out, Avalon Q, if you're actually kind of serious and you got a little bit of coin to throw at this, but if you're interested in something like the Avalon Q, they have a smaller version, the Mini 3. It's not as good, it's not as nice, it's not as much hash for the money or bang for buck on the Bitcoin mining front. But if you, you're topping out your budget with that, it's still you know a very great viable option there on the smaller side of things. Enter full-size ASIC miners. These are application-specific integrated circuit miners. And if you're a Voscoin subscriber, you're probably sick of hearing that. But for anyone new here, now you know. And to the subscribers, I'm sorry, I really am. Full-size ASICs though, right? These are best-in-class Bitcoin miners, right? I mean, you look at the best efficiency one that you can order and get today, it's gonna be the Bitmain Ant Miner S21 XP. If you've been exploring immersion mining, got videos on it, check it out. It's basically liquid-cooled mining. It's really cool, especially on a small scale, using something like the Fog Hashing C2 or C6. The Canon A, 
1566i or immersion ready model there is the absolute ticket. And then you have best bang for buck models with current generation mining efficiency, right? We're looking at the, again, another ant miner, the S21 plus or the bit deer seal miner A2. Of course, there's better miners coming in the future like the S23, the A2 Pro and other minor models there as well. But all we can do is deal with uh, the current generation of Bitcoin miners and what's in stock here. Uh, the future models, uh, if you do any kind of pre-orders at the moment, they're priced so heavily. I think they kind of outweigh their, their gains currently. We'll need the pricing on that to come down. So it's not going to happen if Bitcoin goes to a quarter million dollars per coin. Uh, but if it dipped under 100, uh, it would be a very different market. So the point is you need to get a miner and kind of speed running this stuff. It's just some of these options. Well, congratulations, you ordered a miner. I hope you used our link and supported the channel. And if you didn't, well, curse you. Just kidding, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste a curse on that. Now we gotta get it set up. There's, look, there's a bunch of different mining pools, right? Uh, we use this tool often, it's called Mining Pool Stats Stream. This gives it an emission of uh, different coins and stuff. Bitcoin is normally putting out 50 million plus on average over the last year. It's actually very useful if you are mining a new coin to you or if it's just new to you. Like, I mean, you may not follow Bitcoin mining that closely. Maybe while you're watching this video, you may not know the Bitcoin mining pools. Uh, so you click that list and you start to see some options. You see different fees. You can can get a little overwhelmed where am i going to mine some bitcoin right so i mine bitcoin on brains currently and the main reason being is that i get a discount because a lot of my bitcoin miners are flipped over to using the brains os um, and i largely got sucked into that on the uh, immersion mining endeavor uh, but you know, mining with brains has been a good experience. It's been fine. I was mining on Luxor, but their high fees and no rebates unless you're using their OS, which also has fees, did not interest me. And to be honest, one of the main mining pools I'd recommend staying away from is via BTC. And when you do this stuff, I've been in the game for nearly a decade. I mean, you see a lot, you hear a lot, a lot of stuff happens to you. You come with experience, you come with baggage. So if you're looking for something simple, basic, kind of middle of the ground, I mean, F2 pool has been a fine pool for me over the years, but they have very, very high fee on their FPPS just like the very very high fee on buy btc both of those pools coming in at four percent that is way too much in bitcoin in this era so do some research go to whatever mining pool you want to use and uh, if you're like boss just tell me a pool to use just head over to brains and mine bitcoin with me for now and subscribe and if things change you're gonna do some mining profitability tests all that uh you know we'll, we'll bob weave move uh and adjust there all right so we got a bitcoin miner we're on a Bitcoin mining pool. We got a Bitcoin address. A lot of different things you can do at this point. We could start getting real deep into the weeds and I'm gonna keep everything pretty quick and high level through the rest of this video, right? Uh, you can mine Bitcoin and trade into other cryptocurrencies. Uh, when you zoom out at the charts, unless you really pick the right ones, you're probably gonna regret that. I have pissed away Bitcoins, right? And that's a lot at this point on shit coins. Sucks, disappointing, sad the way it goes. I dub it noob tax. And I bring that up also because you may be exploring, well, why don't I just get this other miner? It says it earns more money per day and I'll just trade it into Bitcoin. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That's called shitcoin mining, right? And and I'll be honest, I've done all the shitcoin mining over the years and, and I've tested almost every shitcoin miner that's come out in the last several years and they have been awful investments, like never make your money back investment. Okay, so be careful jumping in the deep end. The only altcoin that's worth mining is Dogecoin and the Dogecoin miners are so overpriced right now that you make more money per miner buying Bitcoin miner models in this era, which is weird, not historically true at all, and you're mining the better coin. Anyone who would take Dogecoin over Bitcoin as a long-term investment, I think it's stupid. Um, and look, I'm, I'm a Doge fan. Do Doge is a huge piece of my portfolio and I DCA into it every day, right? Dollar cost average through the simple function of mining. And of course I do that to Bitcoin there as well. Uh, I look at it this way and I talked about this in a recent video. I I've got seven shelves in this one uh, Bitcoin mining container I have. Six mine Bitcoin, one mine Dogecoin. And that's it. That's how I cut it up. I do mine some other cryptocurrencies for better and worse. To put it simply, I just wanted to touch on those things because that may be where your head drifts next um, in this mining endeavor. You need to consult a professional on this. It's not financial advice. I have to have these disclaimers because Chief Legal Officer, also known as Tails Bosk, said that I have to have all these disclaimers. 
if you're investing into your mining business and you're, you're you're running this business that provides a service i mean you're running the bitcoin network okay you're running a business and my business is earning me money making it not a hobby but a viable business well my business also has expenses right i have this investment cost that i have into this hardware and then i also have these reoccurring expenses like electricity and even my internet bill so I run those things against my business because I'm running a business that is earning money but also has some expenditures along the way and it makes mining a much more lucrative endeavor. Why would I buy a little bit of Bitcoin every day when I could mine a little bit of Bitcoin every day and also have advantages on the business front? Also, it's way more fun, it's way more engaging and also it keeps me in the game. If I just bought coin, I probably would have faded out of Bitcoin and crypto over the over the years. It just it wouldn't have had me hooked. Uh, I would have gotten distracted and maybe made mistakes. Maybe I would have made more money at certain periods. But but I, I don't think I don't know if I would have been able to like really stick with the long game. When you buy some miners and you're running this stuff, and if you get a little crazier like me and start to build out a bigger Bitcoin mining farm, oh trust me, bro, you, you you're not just gonna be entrenched. You're gonna live in the trenches. For better and worse right and then I'm, then I'm throwing up solar panels to generate electricity not because i want to uh just zero out my electricity bill but because i want to generate even more electricity to be able to run these bitcoin miners so like that's where my head's at i'll leave it at that very critical things to think about that is way too often overlooked don't think just because your business is small right you, you spend a couple thousand dollars on this on these bitcoin miners that it's not viable it's not real don't shortchange yourself. Everybody starts at a different spot. It doesn't mean that you should be not taking advantage of everything that you possibly can. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is in infrastructure. I have an hour and a half video trying to cover all the basics of like setting up the miner, right? And, uh, you know, doing electricity and all that stuff. But like when it comes to setting up the miner, I mean, you literally just uh, plug it in. It generates an IP address. You get that from your uh, uh, router. You download an app, like who's on my Wi-Fi to see it. There's a bunch of options. And you literally just put in your mining pool that you choose. And then you literally just paste your Bitcoin address. And then you are just literally, I know, probably annoying to deliver that three times, mining Bitcoin, earning passive income. So don't think it's hard, it's not, it's easy. And if you use something like the Avalon Q, that thing even comes with its own app for your phone. It makes it even simpler and easier than ever before. And even a card you can scratch off and scan and start mining Bitcoin there. I mean, they will try to do everything for you. It didn't used to be this easy, which made it harder, which made the upside uh, more interesting. So something to think about if you grab a couple mining rigs is make sure they can run on your electricity, right? So if I buy a big full-size miner, I need a 220 to 240 voltage probably, right? So like I'm, I'm putting in an L6, uh, R right which is a receptacle on a 30 amp circuit and I can plug you know one or two miners into that I, I use the Altair mining PDU to just kind of tap out of that uh, very simple very easy understand that when all these miners are burning even you know one two thousand watts but the full size ones are burning over three thousand watts a piece uh, so that's over 10 amps of electricity that is producing heat they produce a lot more heat than a lot of people understand or realize and do not underestimate the value of a quiet model right if you put this thing in your spare bedroom like a full-size miner you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear it very much so the quiet one nah not not really right even your basement or your garage depending on your home setup uh that noise can definitely bleed into your house if nothing else create a constant hum it may bother you your wife if you have a wife or girlfriend they may not like it they may leave you over it it's called the wife approval factory the quiet ones have high wife approval factor we've talked about it in previous videos this is the kind of knowledge you get here why haven't you subscribed but seriously i bring all these things up because they matter right you need to have a plan for the heat and it's all fine, fun, good and dandy when you're getting free heat in the winter. But then it comes summertime, it's 100 degrees outside and you're like, what have I done? Where do I put this thing? Uh, so airflow solutions, very varied. I, I, you know, Try not to bog yourself down with AC and waste your money. Nothing else, right? You could put it in the garage, cut a hole on one side, cut a hole on the other side. You have an intake vent, you have an outtake vent or exhaust, right? Add a fan to the equation, it speeds up the airflow and it helps. 
You could also duct these miners, right? You could have it ducted so it's pulling the intake and it's pushing the outtake itself. It already has fans on it. It's already running. It's already doing the work. Why not make use of them? Just some food for thought. I'm Bosk. You're on the Bosk on YouTube channel. We already ran 10 seconds of tails. There's also our CBR Chief Bitcoin Officer. But how about 10 more? I appreciate you. Good luck on this journey. And uh, you got any questions? So put the comment section for posting all the time all kinds of stuff on this subject matter so i hope you subscribe and stick with me and uh, i'm gonna keep keep chasing the dream i hope you do too good luck goodbye